Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to show you guys a couple of my 3 star attempts using Hog Riders. Where if we look at my attack log, I had about, I would say 10 attempts maybe using Hog Riders. Actually if we look through it, I had 7 attacks and basically what I was using is 4 golems, my heroes and then 20 Hog Riders in there. And I'm trying to get 3 stars. Um, I'm trying out the strategy because I've seen a lot of people in war 3 star with this army. So I tr try to give it a shot and see how I do with this. So if we look at my attack log, I got a 48% 1 star, 52 2 star, 64 2 star, 57% 2 star, and then a 68, another 68%, and then my most recent one is a 93%. So you can see I'm getting better at it and I wanted to show you guys one or two attacks and then I wanted to do a life attack using hawk ladders and just seeing how I can do with them. So if we take a look at this attack, he didn't have any heroes, so that was easy for me. I brought a lightning spell, but he didn't have any clan castle troops, so that was kind of a wasted spell right here. But yeah, so I dropped my four golems and then my heroes behind with this army. You can, you only take about three wizards to clear off the sides and then you want your heroes to go into the middle. It's almost like a lava loon hybrid attack, but you use four golems instead of two because you try to get to the inferno towers. And if you can, it'd be awesome if you take out two of the inferno towers and it's usually pretty hard to do, but it is possible. And then you send in your hawks. But yeah, so what I did is I took out one of the inferno towers and then I send in my hawks at the bottom. I triggered the giant bombs with my king's ability and then as you guys can see the hawkers are running in and now I should have dropped my heal spell right here. I missed it so a couple of my hawks died because they got um, exploded through the giant bomb and then also the wizard tower did some damage on them. And then as you guys can see I only have about I would say 5 hawkers left over so it was kind of a fail. I brought 3 heal spells. And I probably should have brought two heal spells and then another spell like a rage spell or something to help out my heroes. And the problem was that my heroes didn't get to the inferno towers quick enough. So I think I should have maybe waited on my hawk rider placements and should have dropped them a bit later. But I did kind of fail it and as you guys can see I did get a 2 star. I did get about 68%. So it wasn't a fail but it was definitely not a 3 star and there was a couple of defenses left over. So yeah, then I just dropped a uh, lightning spell right here, didn't do much, but yeah, that was basically it. And let's take a look at another attack. So this one was almost a 3 star, I got really surprised with this attack. As you guys can see, it's a kind of a southern teaser base, or a northern teaser I would say. And it's pretty good base I would say, I failed against it before I think. So yeah, basically I dropped in my 4 golems, and you do not want to spread them out too much. Because if the golems go in different places, um, your heroes could get attacked by them pretty easily. So yeah, I dropped my lightning spell here and then took out the clan castle pretty solid. And then my golems perfectly split up. The problem with this base is that the troops run around and don't go into the core. So my troops didn't take out the inferno towers. And then I kind of panicked and I wanted to drop my hawk riders into the inferno tower and take them out. So I also had a... Um, free spell so I sent in my hawk and I wanted to freeze the inferno and then get my hawks to take out the inferno tower and then maybe get a three star that way so I dropped my free spell my hawk riders and then a heal spell and then the, my hawks ran to the bottom and so I dropped another heal spell to keep them alive for the longest time possible and it's looking pretty good I would say I um, used my Queen's ability pretty early to take out the Inferno Tower and I think this might have hurt me and I could have gotten a 3 star if I used the ability a bit later. So as you guys can see, the Hawk Riders took out a big chunk on the bottom of the base. There's only one Archer Tower alive and then the rest are all down and there's one Hawk Rider left over. There's Golems covering that Expo and then there's my Archer Queen. And if we fast forward through this attack, you can see that it got really close. And I would say it was a pretty decent attack. I mean, I didn't take out the Infernos, so I had to send in my Hawks into the Infernos, which was kind of a problem. But I would say in the end, it did work out actually decently. And I almost got a 3-star, as you guys can see. I got up to 93%, which I would say is a pretty, pretty decent um, attack in my opinion. So yeah, that's going to be it for the attacks. I'm going to do a life attack right now. And basically, I'll be back once I found in Raid.
Okay, so I'm back. Um, we found a raid and this one has decent loot so I thought I should just try and go for it. He has both heroes up and they're both maxed and his walls look pretty solid so um, this is going to be a really uh, tough one but let's see how we can do against it. So I have one golem in my clan castle which I'm going to drop with uh, my three golems in the beginning. So I'm going to drop two over here, one on the right side and then clear up the buildings with a couple of wizards, drop my wall breakers to open the first layer of wall, drop my queen first because you don't want the king drop first because he's gonna go around the base as you probably have seen quite a bit already. So I'm gonna drop my king right here, looks like he's gonna go into the core, drop my jump spell so I can go into the core to the inferno and it looks like he does have a hound in his clan castle so that might kind of be a problem but let's see how we do. So. Looks like I'm not doing too bad. I'm probably gonna drop my lightning spell once the lava hound explodes, which should happen pretty soon, I think. But yeah, so I can't really see what's going on. Oh, there's the lava hound. It looks like he does have a lot of damage going on. So I'm just gonna drop down everything. I think this might actually be a fail just because of that lava hound, which was kind of unexpected. But yeah, I'm gonna drop in my hawk through the top and then see how well they are doing. So they're running inside, there's one inferno, but I do have a freeze. Okay, there's, there's a giant bomb. I'm gonna drop a heal spell and then I'll drop my my um, freeze spell right here. Looks like so, there's still a bunch of hawks uh, left over, so I'm not sure how I'm doing. I dropped my second heal spell and it looks like I'm kind of failing, but yeah. So my hawks are gonna take out the inferno tower and then yeah, didn't even take out the Inferno Tower. So it looks like this was a big fail. And um, I think what I did wrong is that my... I didn't expect the Lava Hounds in the Clan Castle. If I had a Rage Spell, maybe during the lure I could have taken out the Lava Hound. But yeah, that was a fail. And it doesn't really matter. Um, it was a... I learned from it and I'll talk to you guys later once I um, basically get the strategy going. And I'll probably do a video on it sometime later once I get better. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.